Let's get into it. I'm going to style up all these items and I hope you guys like them. As you can see, it's a H&M Zara winter clothing haul and I went into Zara, literally went in to select the best pieces that I thought you guys would like. These are the best pieces, the closest thing that I could find to my style and I wanted to share these with you. So stay put, get your popcorn, your credit cards, no capitalism, no capitalism, no capitalism. But <laughs> we're women, we like to shop, we like to look good, we like to wear nice things. And H&M and Zara are like affordable high street brands. So yeah, and H&M has a wonderful sustainable program that I've actually partook in. I actually have my like, hold on. Okay, so you guys know that I am a conscious queen. I like to shop intentionally, and I like to shop from brands that are doing amazing things in recycling and upcycling, and just being more environmentally aware and friendly. So I've actually partaken in the H&M Consciousness Program. I brought in some old clothes, like it, di it didn't even matter. And they gave me a coupon so that I could get 15% off my next order. So that's really good and I just wanted to put that in there just to say, hey, it's not all bad, okay? The little more people do is the sooner we can get to a cleaner planet, a more sustainable earth, just a better environment for all of us and for the creatures in the ocean, for the creatures on land. I just wanted to put that out there that I'm very much aware of, you know, waste surrounding mass production of clothing and stuff like that. But there are brands out here that are actually doing a little bit more and doing a lot better for the environment. So um, with that being said, I'm just going to get into the clothing haul so that we can just enjoy ourselves. It's cold, it's winter, fall, and um, let's look at some stuff because I love, I love to look good, I love clothes, and I want to share these guys with you. So come on, let's go. Okay guys, this is the first look. This is a full leather pant. It's wide leg and this like white shirt. Now you guys know I love love a white button down and I could not find these in the black. I'm gonna show you the full outfit in the cutaways, so don't worry about it. But um, I just love an oversized white button down shirt. This one just makes me feel so comfortable. This is nice to wear like under a vest or a jacket or something like that, or just a little open if it's a little bit cooler to show a little cute little bra. This bra is the, the Fenty Beauty Flora Lace and Mesh Bra. This one is like the purple one and purple is good with brown. Oh my gosh, I just love this outfit. I'm gonna show you guys the outfit in the cutaways. But before I move on from, and the pant, oh. I, I got so enamored by the top because I love a white button down and these ones got cuff sleeves. I wish it had like cute little buttons or something but it just has regular buttons on there. But um, these pants, oh my gosh, these pants though. Why are these pants so sexy? They have big pockets on them and they're wide leg trousers. They got pockets up here to keep your hands warm. I just love this look. It's very casual but you can, you can bring this up. This is like a base to like build something on, right? So hold on. And oh, this, like, I'm so excited that I'm just like babbling, 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 firing, firing, firing. But um, this is a nice base to start an outfit with. What I would, and oh, I forgot to say, these are from Zara, the top and the pants. And if you wanted to take it up a notch, you could add this like puffer jacket from Zara over it. Kind of pull your sleeves out a little bit. See if we've got a little bit of cuff sleeve action happening. Just pull the sleeves out, and this could be like a look. Let's see what it looks like. Because I was thinking these would look nice together. Thinking like something like that. Especially if you don't have a vest, but you still want to have that cuff sleeve vibe. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this a look or is it a no? Let me check the mirror. I think this is like a better look for this. I'm not sure about the jacket, to be honest. 
but it's a cool little jacket. If you're wearing something maybe like, like a bodysuit, I think, and it's not too cold outside and you wanna like just stay warm a little bit, I think this is a good look, but I'm not sure how the jacket looks with the pant. I mean, it's a little, I don't know about the jacket with his pants, but I'm gonna show you guys the outfit in a cutaway. But yeah, I don't have any like designer handbags in my handbag collection, but I can tell you this. I have something really nice that I think would pair best with this look. Now I've styled this piece on my channel before. I was inspired to buy this a few years ago by Desi Perkins because she was, she just looked so cool in hers. And I'm gonna take out one of these. And this is a styling video more than it is a haul. And I'm telling you, a lot of brown and black action to cinch in the waist. What? Come on, come on, girl. Come on, like what? Like, ugh, this is like my signature look. Like if I should style myself, and wear something for the rest of my life. It would be flared pants, <laughs> a nice corset, and like a white button down with different like buttons and sleeves and just like, <sighs> White button downs are so versatile. Like you can do whatever with them. And you can even take it out like that. It's just, oh, this is like a look. I don't know, man. Um, and I've worn, I've worn this look like a million times with like different white button downs. I just love a corset to cinch in the waist and just, oh, I just feel like this is, this would be good, especially because I personally don't have like brown boots, but I do have black boots. If you wanted to bring in that color, that would be a good way to bring in like a black shoes, you know? And these are all like solid colors so they would go well together, you know, and complement each other just in case you don't want to wear like all black or all brown. And I don't have a brown corset, but this, this looks amazing. I love this and I'm going to show you guys how I would style it in a few moments, but come on, come on, come on. How sexy. Okay. Okay guys, so this is the next outfit that I'll be styling. This dress is from H&M. Oh my gosh, first of all, it's yellow. You guys know I have a fascination for the color yellow. I think it is my birth color. I don't know, I just love yellow. It's so bright, it's so light. It represents the sun and the stars and the moon. I just love yellow and yeah, um, but look at this dress. Oh my gosh, this is so sexy. It's like a midi dress. It just goes past my knees. It has these beautiful sleeves. I love the sleeve detail, like this little slit, which makes it a little bit like a bell sleeve situation. I love this high neck, which is cool. And it has all these like black speckled ribbed detail into the material. Excuse my nails, they're not done. But um, I just, I think it's cute. I'm going to show you guys the whole outfit but before that for the winter for a whole day okay I know I'm, I'm like I'm firing off in different directions okay but I think this is a good like evening dress for like dinner maybe the movies maybe a date night that also failed to mention to you that this dress also has a slit at the back which just adds that extra dimension of sexiness so that's why I chose this dress I thought it was sexy this is a size medium it has lots of stretch to it. I could have gone for a small, but this is very cute and I like it because of the color, the sleeves, the slit in the back, and it's a nice little bodycon. You know, something cute and I, I thought that it could pair well with a nice leather jacket like 
this. You know, if it ever gets too cold outside and you can always pull the sleeves out of there to just give a little sleep detail. If you wanted to, you could even fold it over like that. But maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. I think this is so cool. The jacket is also from H&M. This was actually styled on the mannequin in the store like this. And I thought, oh, that's cute. That's a cute look. I think that could work. And then you could just, you could just zip it up if it ever got too cold. Relax the leather down like that. Cute, right? Not bad, like not bad. Let me tell you, I picked the best pieces in H&M because the store had all the women. They were shopping for, I don't know, Christmas. I almost all, like, I feel like all the good pieces were taken. So I got the best pieces that were left. And I don't know, I, I, I don't think I'm feeling H&M's like winter collection that much. It's hard to find like really good key pieces, but I think this is a good dress to wear on the holidays. You know, I'm a color girl. I'm not necessarily all about like the muted and the like color should be worn all year. And this is a good color because it's like a mustardy yellow. It's not like a bright yellow. So it's good for like all time winter and plus it's long it's like four inches below my knees so it's going to be a good length to keep you warm and I don't know if you're hearing a dog in my background my neighbor's dog just barks incessantly I, I don't think he was meant to be by himself because he or she just barks just barking 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 Barking, barking, barking. So I apologize if you can hear that. If you can't hear it, forget what I said. Just, just focus on me. Listen to what I have to say. Look at all these pieces. Entertain yourself. I don't know. Yeah. Okay guys, so I don't know about you guys, but this is a cute little number. It's a mini, it's pretty short. I'm not sure if you can see that, yeah. But it's a good one to add layering pieces just in case it's like a chiller day. You could put a nice full jacket over this and like knee high boots. I thought this was cute because I don't know if you guys know Freddie My Love on YouTube. She actually created a dress that's similar to this, which is why I picked it up because I thought this was a good tennis inspired type of like classical dress that you could use as a layering piece. And I thought this was cute. I love the black and white. Do you guys know I'm a black and white girl? I love black and white together. I think it's just such a classic color combination, or I would say a tint and a shade combination because they're technically not colors, but I think this is cute. I would pair this with, with, with <laughs> I would pair this with white boots. You could pair this, you could pair, <laughs> I can't talk. I'm just so excited. And I'm thinking about which shoes I'm gonna style this with, but you could pair this with white shoes or white booties or all black outfits. You can even pair this with like gray knee high boots. I think it's cute. It's good for layering. You could even add a cute little tiny white belt around it just to cinch in the waist a little bit. I'm feeling a little cincherini, so that could work as well. I just thought this was good. I don't have anything else to style it with except for boots, so I'm gonna do that and get back to you guys. Yeah. are both from H&M and I thought these could pair well together. Now you can also pair this on a cool evening out with the girls. You could even dress this down with some white sneakers and it's lined. Like who says you can't mix and match your like textures and colors like this. And these are all in the same color family, silver, black and white, and black. Like this is a good look if, if it fit, you know what I mean? And if it fit, I would personally wear this with like white flats just to soften it 
it a little bit and make it like more of a casual look. You could pair this with booties just to give it a little bit more like more than casual. Maybe out for dinner with the friends or something. But um, it's just not my size and this was a size 18. It just cuts my hips right here and it just... <sighs> I needed a, like two sizes up but I think it's really pretty the light reflects off of it so I don't know what to say it's cute I'm going to pair this with my white booties that you're gonna see over here I like the tweed out of this whole entire outfit I would say that the top is my favorite now for another version of this look I also thought that this basic H&M top could work for this outfit as well you know just something low-key classic as you can see this is just like a little bit too short so it's like riding up but it's lined which is good I like that detail because the material is very rough on the skin if it wasn't lined I feel like it would just be oh it's double lined so it's it has a lining skirt and then the material itself is lined as well I love the skirt because it reflects light so beautifully but this is just not my size and it's just it's not holding me in all the right places you know what I mean it's just it's not doing it for my body but it's a cute little mini and you can also pair this with a jacket as well to make it a little bit more casual you see where I'm going with that casual nothing too fussy you know I like this this little outfit I just wish the skirt fit a little bit better and this you can also dress down with some white sneakers or dress it up with some like ankle length booties I feel like that could work for this look yeah. Okay guys, so I took a little intermission because I was hungry and dehydrated. I don't know why I do that to myself. Lately I've just had this little bit of like water shortage consciousness, which I need to really get over and just drink my freaking water because I'm going to get a new filter each time they run out. So why am I murdering myself and being a miser with water? Does that make sense? But anyways, enough about my water rant. So if at the start of the video I was a little like low energy, it was because I was hungry for sure and a little, a lot dehydrated. Just saying. So this is the last piece that I picked up. It's like this blazer dress from H&M. Now I love this print. This is the kind of stuff that I would totally wear. Now let me just, just, just disclaimer. Don't dare think that I'm keeping any of these pieces. The pieces that I would keep would be the brown pant and the tweed top and maybe the yellow dress. I feel sexy in the yellow dress, but I just don't feel a lot supported in the midsection. But if I was going to keep anything, it would be this dress if it was cinching me in, like so. You know what I mean? Because look, why would I dare wear something that's like balloony like this? I love the print, you know? I love the print. The print is just saying eclectic, cute, cool, amazing, adorable. It's saying everything that I needed to say. Got a little loose thread on here. Look at that little, oh, you know. But um, I think to make this work, I would style it with a belt. Give me one second. Okay, so I think maybe putting a belt around something like this could make it work. I've got this kind of like off-white situation that I would use and then you probably just want to make it just a little bit tighter. Cinch that in at the base. So that's how I would wear this. Just a little cinched, you know? Yeah, a little cinched like that. Even a little bit more, but my belt doesn't have any more holes where I can put it in, but you know, something like that. Because it's, it's the print is cute it's just it's just not giving it's just not giving I don't know it's just not giving it's just not giving that 
like structured blazer look. I don't really like a relaxed blazer dress like this. If I'm wearing a blazer dress, I want it to be like structured on the top, a little cinched in the waist and then kind of flared out, you know? I feel like this tried to do that, but it did not really, didn't really succeed. It didn't really hit, it didn't really give. But it's giving a little bit of cleavage. You gotta wear a specific bra with this because the cut is very low. Today I'm wearing my Fenty bra. It's like the one that you button at the front. It kind of looks like, kind of looks like that. So it has these cute little buttons. It's like a zebra print. I liked the concept of the dress, right? But I'm not, I'm not sold. I'm not sold. I thought I would like this on, but honestly, I'm not sold on it. I am just not, I'm not really impressed at all. I didn't know it was going to be this big, but yeah. Sorry if this haul was not like spectacular. I thought my first outfit was like the best one in my opinion. I thought this was going to be a good one too, which is why I saved it for last. But unfortunately it was not. For you guys that stayed till this point, my name is Saudia. If you don't know my name already, and this is my channel, Beauty in All Places, I'm so grateful to have you here. I love fashion, lifestyle, food, educational material, anything that's everything that any human should care about, I do care about. Out. and so I'm really grateful to have you I'm trying to do a wonderful winter-esque haul to show you some looks but I don't know I don't know if this haul like hit you know like my previous hauls I felt better about my previous hauls than this one but hey I tried so far this is the best that was at H&M and Zara in my opinion and so I did my best so thanks for watching guys I'll leave all the links to everything down below if you're interested I don't have any affiliate codes for any of these items but I'm gonna to try to find them online and link them down there for you thanks for watching and have a wonderful holiday